I'm Danielle with Godiva's Secret Wigs, and I'm going to show you how to sew a metal wig clip, one of these, into your wig or top piece, or the top piece you just made. So here's your wig, you're just going to fold it inside out, here's the inside of your wig. First thing you want to do is decide where you're going to put the clips. So if you feel like you need more added security in the front, you're going to put it either on the sides, or just one in the middle. If it's riding up in the back, you could put one in the middle or again on the sides. And if you feel like you're always pulling it down from the temples, you could put the clips right on the temples. So normally you want to use a wig clip and thread that matches your wig. So I would do, you know, a brown clip and brown thread. But so you can see it easier, I'm going to use a blonde clip and blonde thread. So the first thing you're going to do is take your thread and you're going to use like two feet-ish, this, this much, and you're just going to cut it off. Next thing you want to do is take your needle and you're going to put the thread through the eye of the needle, which is that opening up here. Just put it right through and pull it. And you're just going to pull both sides so you end up with the needle in the middle and two even sides. You're going to take the top and just make a little knot. You do yours too. Okay, now that I have my knot, I have my thread at the end, now I'm ready. So I'm going to take my clip, and you want to make sure the clip is put correctly. So to know that, you want your teeth to face into the center of the wig. So no matter where you put your clip, you want the teeth to face in the middle. So going this way, wrong. Teeth in the middle. So no matter where you put it. And the next thing you want to make sure is that this rubber part is what's facing down and is against the wig. So now we have our rubber down, teeth facing inward, and we're ready. So I'm going to take the needle and I'm putting it and I'm going through a little bit of the wig and then up through this top hole. Pull it all the way through. And because we made that knot, the, the thread won't come out all the way. I'm going to go a second time in through that exact same hole. And now see how you have this circle of thread right here? I'm going to take the needle and put it down through the circle of the thread, come right up, and I'm actually making a knot with the thread. I'm going to do the same thing now on this hole, just ignore the gold one. This hole right here, I'm going to go down, grab a little bit of the wig, and up through the hole. Pull. Same thing a second time, and again, here's my circle of thread. I'm going down into the middle of it, and up to make my knot again. Now I need to get to the other side. And you're going to notice these three holes up here. You can totally ignore those. We don't need them. So I'm going to take my, th my needle and just put it through this part. And it doesn't matter if you grab a little wig or not. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pull it through here. And then when I flip this over, you'll see I'm on the other side. Now I'm going to flip my wig around because I'm right-handed and it's easier. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did over there. I'm going to do on these three holes here. So again, I take a little bit of the wig up through this hole. And the same thing a second time. And the second time I'm going to make my knot. And what this knot does is it means that, say the thread happens to break one day, or break right now while I'm sewing. I don't have to go back and do the whole thing. The whole thing will not unravel. Only, it will only unravel to the next hole because that's where you made your knot. So it's kind of just an added security. So again, second time. Where are you? There we are. And then again through the hole. So every time I'm reinforcing it. And the last time. And you don't need to grab very much weight. You're just grabbing a little. You don't need to get way down in there. And a second time, and again in my hole, make sure there's no hair in there, pull. Now what you're going to do is take your scissor and just cut off towards the needle. And we're going to make a knot, kind of like you would if you were making a knot in your shoelaces. You're going to just take your two sides of your thread, cross them over each other and through once and twice. This just kind of finishes it off as like an added security. And then cut. 
And now you're all done sewing in your clip. It's really secure. Here's how you open it. See how it's open in there? And close it. And this rubber on the inside means that even if you only have a little bit of hair, it's not going to slide around. It's not going to pull your hair. It's going to stay really secure. So now you know how to actually sew the clip in yourself. Now if you don't want to do it yourself, we will do it for you. So all you have to do is go on our website and type in the word sew, S-E-W, into our search box. And you'll see a bunch of different options come up about where you want your clips sewn. That way if you purchase your wig from us, at the same time you can purchase the sewing and we'll sew those clips in for you. However, I know you can do it yourself even if you've never sewn before. It's really easy. You know, feel free to hit the pause button as many times as you need to, go back, check it out, I know you can do it. And the great thing is once you know how to do this, you could sew buttons, you could sew a hole in your shirt, you can sew anything. It's really a basic sewing technique. So now you know how to sew and you can make your wigs extra secure. Bye.